from so-called Africa to America. You won't find it. Why? If, if, if we went through this big transatlantic slave trade, then where are the true stories coming down from my ancestors and coming down from my family? I'm very deep into my family. I know my family bloodline, where we come from, my grandma on my mama's side. Who believes that? First one, if you believe that. So far, just what he says so far. Press one if you believe that. So-called Africa to America. You won't find it. Why? If, if, if we went through this big transatlantic slave trade, then where are the true stories coming down from my ancestors and coming down from my family? I'm very deep into my family. I know my family bloodline, where we come from, my grandma on my mama's side. Who knows the stories from their family back in the 1800s? Press one if you if you if you if you just be hearing stories about your family members from the 1800s. If y'all just be at the barbecue, yeah, man. Back in 1852, man, you never believe it, man. I remember Master said, I need 10 bales of cotton a day. And I was like, what? Master, please. so-called Africa to America. You won't find it. Why? If, if, if we went through this big transatlantic slave trade, then where are the true stories coming out from my ancestors and coming down from my family? I'm very deep into my family. I know my family bloodline, where we come from. My grandma on my mama's side was full blood. I mean, on my father, uh, on my grandpa's side or my uh, uh, paternal side, full-blooded Cherokee. She used to chew tobacco. She had long ponytails. She used to give me buffalo quarters that's worth hundreds of thousands of dollars now. And I wish I would have kept them. But Who believes that those buffalo quarters his granny used to give him was worth hundreds of thousands of dollars, man? Who believes that? Who believes that wearing ponytails and, and chewing tobacco has anything to do with being an Indian? so-called Africa to America. You won't find it. Why? If, if, if we went through this big transatlantic slave trade, then where are the true stories coming down from my ancestors and coming down from my family? I'm very deep into my family. I know my family bloodline, where we come from. My grandma on my mama's side was full blood. I mean, on my father, uh, on my grandpa's side or my uh, uh, paternal side, full-blooded Cherokee. She used to chew to who said? <laughs> who said? then where are the true stories coming down from my ancestors and coming down from my family? I'm very deep into my family. I know my family bloodline, where we come from. My grandma on my mama's side was full blood. I mean, on my father, uh, on my grandpa's side or my uh, uh, paternal side. Full Which side is he talking about? Somebody help me out. Somebody help me out. Which side is he talking about? See, two things happen, man. So-called Indians or Native Americans, they didn't emancipate their slaves to the early 1900s. So you got a lot of black people who, who had kids who became boomers 
a lot of boomers, their grand, their grandparents and parents were slaves in on in in Indian um, territories. So they claim the the tribe that enslaved them. Press one. A lot of a lot of boomers, not a lot, but some boomers, their parents or grandparents were literal slaves until the 1920s and claim the tribe that they were enslaved by. Because when the Emancipation Proclamation did not extend to Indian territories, the Emancipation Proclamation was only white people had to give up their slaves. Indians did not have to give up their slaves during the Emancipation Proclamation. They held on to their slaves for another 60 years. So those black people who got freed in the 1910s and the 1920s went on to have kids and raised their kids that they were Cherokee, Choctaw. But really, they was just niggas who were slaves to Cherokees and Choctaws. But another thing happens here, too. This guy's very smart, too. I'm 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 gonna also tell tell you how this guy's very smart. I'm also tell you how, how this guy's very smart. Damn, no support tonight. Nobody gonna hit the hit the channel. I'm in here on the Airbnb on my time off, and nobody supporting the channel. Not one person. <laughs> and support was very very limited last night and the night before. Mm. God damn it. Um, let me see how many likes we got. Let me see how I get the like button. Let me see how many likes we got. Mm. Wow. Um, let's hit the like button, man. Ugh. Man, is this a nation or is this a goddamn um this is a this a territory, man? I'm gonna start naming this joint Oc. This the Aka Strip, man. We ain't even a country, man. We the guys, the Aka Strip. This guy, he's smart because look. He's trying to distance himself from Africa because Africa sucks. Press one. He's trying to distance himself from Africa because Africa sucks. Press one. Salute to LRLRS. Crook the hater in the building. Osa. <laughs> Yeah, Cherokee Dads, man. Legendary. The legend. Shout out to her, man. But he's trying to distance himself from Africa because Africa sucks. So this is a very shrewd move by these, these sun people. Because let's just say he's telling the truth. He says, I know my own grandmother on this side, but he ain't talking about the other five grandmothers. He ain't talking about the great grandmother. See, they'll have this whole tree. You know how family trees work. You got like, let's just say you got both sets of both sets of great grandparents. You got four sets of great grandparents. Then you got two sets of grandparents. Then you got the parents. They'll find one person deep down in their history that uh, might have been an Indian or was a slave on an Indian plantation, and they'll claim that one person and ignore that all the other people on that tree are black. So this is a very shrewd move by this person. He's trying to distance himself from Africa because Africa sucks. So-called Africa to America. You won't find it. Why? 
if 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 we went through this big transatlantic slave trade, then where are the true stories coming down from my ancestors and coming down from my family? I'm very deep into my family. I know my family bloodline, where we come from. My grandma on my mama's side was full blood. I mean, on my father, uh, on my grandpa's side or my uh, uh, paternal side, full blooded Cherokee. She used to chew tobacco. She had long ponytails. She used to give me buffalo quarters that's worth hundreds of thousands of dollars now. And I wish I would have kept them. But she was full blooded Cherokee. She used to be in her full Cherokee uh, regalia talking to her. I used to sit by her left hand and she had she ended up getting like throat cancer because all she did was chew tobacco. Ancient traditions of Indians in America. And she told me where she was from. My grandma, my great grandma on my my uh, maternal side was full blooded uh, Choctaw, a Chate. From Louisiana. So I trade, I did my genie. And then it's another thing. You have something called African ancestry. And guess what you got too? Indigenous native ancestry. Why is there two different blood tests? So I even think it's something going on with that, on what they're doing with these DNA tests that's automatically bringing us back to Africa. That <laughs> my man tried to hide from Africa. Looking into his face, man, you see a tribesman. That man looked like a goddamn Bushman, man. He don't look nothing like no damn. He don't look nothing like that Aztec we seen on the story the other day, man. This motherfucker look like a whole bush man, man. There was a test done where this dude, it was a it was a white man. He said that he had a suspicion about them lying with the DNA test. There was a test done. He had a suspicion. It was done by a white man. He said. African ancestry, and guess what you got too? Indigenous native ancestry. Why is there two different blood tests? So I even think it's something going on with that, on what they're doing with these DNA tests that's automatically bringing us back to Africa. There was a test done where this dude, it was a, it was a white man. He said that he had a suspicion about them lying with the DNA test, and he sent the saliva of his lizard to Ancestral.com. Did you know his lizard came back 34% Nigerian? <laughs> Just, yes. I'm just saying. So, so man, <laughs> who believes that? Who believes that a lizard came back 34% Nigerian? And I thought white people was lizard people. I thought white people was the lizard people, man. Y'all got your story messed up, man. Who believes that this white man, unnamed white man, who did this test uh, that we never heard about? His lizard is 34% Nigerian. Man, all this propaganda, man. And look, I don't care if they mad at me or not. All I'm saying is research what I'm saying. I know it sounds taboo, but what happened if the biggest conspiracy in the history of lies happened? And that is that we are indigenous from America. We come from America. We don't come from Africa. But in order for them to take the precious treasures of America, which we have oil, we have gold, we have copper, we have we have all of that. And you have all of that in Africa. And you have more in Africa. You have cocoa, you have cobalt, you have gold, you have diamonds in Africa. <laughs> you got more in Africa, man. But Africa sucks. And America's cool. So he said, fuck that shit, man. That's not what he want. He don't want that gold. He don't want the um the resources of America. He want to not be, he want the um the coolness, the the first worldness, the 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 the, the civil the civilizationness of America. Salute to Eric S. Op Nation Hall of Famer coming through once again. Man, and look. I I don't care if they mad at me or not. All I'm saying is research what I'm saying. I know it sounds taboo, but what happened if the biggest conspiracy in the history of lies happened? And that is that we are indigenous from America. We come from America. We don't come from Africa. But in order for them to take the precious treasures of America, which we have oil, we have gold, we have copper, we have we have all of that here. They act like all oh, this is in Africa. All oh, this is here, too. What happened if it was to drive us out? connect us back to Africa for we want to go back home and while we going back to so-called home we're leaving our home and they taking over our land I'm just saying when you really think about it then look what happened if the maps is flipped because for from what from my understanding of my studies Labanine Illinois was called Labanine before there was a Labanine over there <laughs> Mm 
And listen, man, I'm a son, man. I'm a whole son, man, man. Like, I'm a whole son, man, Jack. Um, This guy right here, we laughing at him and we having fun. And salute to Jay Astor, man. He say, ah, the leaps ninjas take to make themselves feel special. Yeah. But I, I'm, I'm sure you all will say this, man. All my real son men, man. All my son men out there know that this guy, although we're having fun with him and we're kind of clowning him and shit, in black circles, in black spaces, everything this guy said would be taken as the gospel. Press one. While we going back to so-called home, we're leaving our home and they taking over our land. I'm just saying, when you really think about it, then look, what happened if the maps is flipped? Because from, from what from my understanding of my studies, Lebanon, Illinois was called Lebanon before there was a Lebanon over there. What about Israel? Here. What about Judah? Or what you would call Utah? This is here. Watch out, Utah. We coming, though. That, that is true, man. We is starting to come out to Utah, man. In my studies, Lebanon, Illinois, was called Lebanon before there was a Lebanon over there. What about Israel? Here. What about Judah? Or what you would call Utah? This is here. You start getting into these old names. There's a, there's a city out here called Morocco. There, these are different cities. And what about Memphis? And son, man, let me tell you something, man. You wouldn't want to be caught dead in Morocco, man, 500 years ago. Or Memphis. Press one. This son, man, wouldn't. He would. <laughs> he wouldn't really like uh, his experience in Morocco or Memphis, Egypt. 500, 600, 700, 800, 900 years ago. <laughs> Let's just put it like this, man. It'll be a, um, <laughs> it wouldn't be pleasant. <laughs> You'll call Utah. This is here. You start getting into these old names. There's a there's a city out here called Morocco. There are, these are different cities. And what about Memphis? Where's Memphis at? Memphis, Tennessee, that has one of the oldest pyramids here. It's a pyramid in Memphis right now. They didn't put glass over. Bill, they don't put glass over it. That pyramid is the stadium, is the basketball stadium where the basketball team for the U University of Memphis plays. It's, it's a pyramid. It was built 30 years ago, 40 years ago, something like that, 30 years ago. What about Memphis? Where's Memphis at? Memphis, Tennessee, that has one of the oldest pyramids here. It's a pyramid in Memphis right now. They didn't put glass over. That's a real pyramid. But then you have a Memphis <clears> over there and where? Egypt. What about Cairo? Cairo, Illinois. That's that's here in the Americas. So we have these different cities and these different just like New York is named after York, just like New Hampshire is named after Hampshire in England, just like New Brunswick is named after Brunswick in England. Sun Man has such a rudimentary such a rudimentary um understanding oh yeah i think i think i think somebody's already explained it to us something wrong with his man he doesn't understand the world 
He doesn't understand the world. Shout out to Brooklyn Wade, man. Doesn't understand the world. He that has one of the oldest pyramids here. It's a pyramid in Memphis right now. They didn't put glass over. That's a real pyramid. But then you have a Memphis over there and where? Egypt. What about Cairo? Cairo, Illinois. That's that's here in the Americas. So we have these different cities in these different states named after stuff that's in Africa. But when you do deep research and study, these was named that here before it was named that there. I'm saying we got to talk about then you think you got stuff like Milwaukee. That's an Indian tribe name. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, which, uh, Almost all of the, every every city in Wisconsin is an Indian tribe name. Waukesha. All of them. Milwaukee. Tons of places in D.C. The Anacostia River, the Potomac River, now known as the Potomac River. That's everywhere is named after Indian tribes. Manhattan is named after Indian tribe. Everywhere you go, Delaware, the all these places are named after Indians, man. Everywhere you go, all these rivers, all the rivers and all the many of the cities and towns are named after. Indian tribe, son, man. I'm saying we got to talk about. Then you think you got stuff like Milwaukee. That's an Indian tribe name. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, which uh, uh, Chattanooga, Chattanooga, Tennessee, Chatter, Chatter, Chatter. That's an Indian name. So you start going, and then you got different. You got different sections in because Missouri and Illinois is one of your ain't one of your most oldest places in the world where i'm from one of your most oldest places you got you got chickawa missouri and illinois is one of your most oldest places in the world <laughs> wow that's new man i gotta put that i gotta i gotta write that down somebody ever asked me what's the most oldest places in the world Missouri and Illinois for 400, Alex. Because Missouri and Illinois is one of your ain't one of your most oldest places in the world where I'm from. One of your most oldest places. You got you got Chickawa Street. You got Cherokee Street. And then you start seeing there's different museums around there. that got all of our stuff in it. They got other people faces on it. They have did this to the whole world where they go around where ancient ancestral black people come from they will change the faces to them and then they'll take our history so my belief my research my study shows that we are in the oldest part of the world which is ancient america we are not from africa uh, i do believe that all people of melanin descent do have some type of ancestral and dna connection but we are not all the same people and we don't all keep a hold of the same traditions and i believe a lot of islanders like such as yourself actually come from the lower americas and it actually Damn, you a kind son, man. You even letting the interviewer off the hook of being African, man. This sub man is he, he's a swell guy, man. You a swell guy, man. He like, hey, Mr. Interviewer, man. Look, man, you don't even have to be African, man. You're free. You're free, man. Uh, let that demon out. Let that African demon out, interviewer. Let that African demon out. Ah. Do have some type of ancestral and DNA connection, but we are not all the same people and we don't all keep a hold of the same traditions. And I believe a lot of Islanders, like such as yourself, actually come from the lower Americas and it actually was a ship's trade there. Where a lot of a lot of y'all went from the South America to the islands, but it didn't happen the other way. Where we all came by millions on this big ass boat, stacked on each other like sardines, came over from Africa from a port called Yehuda. I mean Yehuda, all the way over to the Americas. And I haven't found any evidence that truly, truly suggests that. Now, can you tamper with evidence and make things look like something? Yes, that's why we all. Well, there it is, man. This guy hasn't found any evidence, so case closed, man. <laughs>
Case closed, man. Aster says, sorry, I just can't help myself, but this ninja thinks he's saying some profound shit. Listen, man, if this guy was, if, if he if he would have been on 8th Street and we'd have been out there shooting the little, the Willy Bobo, arguing about whatever we be arguing about, and this type of shit would have came up, and he would have said this shit, man, he would have he would have been holding court, man. Niggas would be like, he's that brother's deep, man. You sit next time you see him, hey man, brother, hey brother, what's up, man? Hey man, that brother's deep, man. Come over here, man. His brother would have been a scholar. All he would have had to do is get a chew stick. All he would have needed was a chew stick and like a little like leather bound, like hand case or something. And some rings, and he would have been set, man. That brother would have been a doctorate, man, a hood doctorate, man. Africa, from a port called Yehuta, I mean Yehuda, all the way over to the Americas. And I haven't found any evidence that truly, truly suggests that. Now, can you tamper with evidence and make things look like some? Yes, that's why we all think we're from Africa when we not and there's there is no coincidence that you don't only have african americans but you have african australians you have african this african that why do they feel the need to keep putting that name on it because they're trying to make us yeah man shout out to that brother man he 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 he, he freeing people from being african man